Hi guys, it's Maya and I'm back with another testing products video because I tried my hand out at it a few weeks ago with three new Real Technique sponges. A little card will pop up here, I think. You can go and watch it there if you want. After this video, of course, this one's gonna be great. So, I'm doing another one. <laughs> oh crap, I forgot I put lipstick on. Oh well, my makeup will be coming off soon anyway, don't worry. Because that video got so much good feedback and people were even tweeting me like showing that they bought some of the products, which is like, whoa girl. <laughs> and really these videos kind of justify me spending a lot of money on new things, so thanks for that. I am doing another one and this one I am so excited for. You'll probably tell by the title. I say that in every single video. You'll probably tell by the title. I have got the coolest, funniest looking face mask that I could possibly find and I got three different variations for you. These are super, super awesome funky sheet masks by the brand Coco Star. And I got three ones. I got the sunflower face mask, the lemon face mask, and the tomato face mask. Coco Star. <laughs> I presume this is a Korean brand because the name sounds Korean and there's Korean writing on the back, which would make a lot of sense. By the way, do you like my top? It's from the Ed Sheeran concert I went to a few days ago. Oh my God. I love Ed Sheeran so much. I'm going off track a little bit. Anyway, I got these from Beauty Bay. They are four pounds each, which really I don't think is bad for a face mask. Like compared to Glam Glow and all them, which are in like the 40 pound range, four pound for a mask seems pretty good. If you think these are any normal face masks, You've got a lot coming. These aren't any old face masks. These aren't like a one sheet, put it on, leave it done type of face mask. These, as you can see, are like tomato slices, like individual circle tomato slices. And there's 16 of these. And you have to kind of put them on your face yourself so you have lots of tomato slices covering your face. How fun is that? For the instructions, it says wash and dry the face, apply the individual pieces to desired areas, face or body, and leave on for 20 to 30 minutes. That's quite a long time, but I mean, I'm worth it. It's worth a sacrifice, I will do it for you guys. Remove pieces and massage any excess serum into the skin. Sounds okay. Do not digest. Um, I hope you don't think these are food. I don't think it'll be very good if you eat them. You might get raging diarrhea, who knows? <laughs> Time to test them out now. I'm gonna follow the instructions. I'm gonna go downstairs, tie my hair up, take my makeup off, wash my face, dry my face, and I'll come straight back. <laughs> there we go, I've took off my makeup, I've washed it, dried it, and I guess now it's time to put fruit and stuff slices on my face. What a normal girl I am. <laughs> Which one should we try though? That's the thing. Hmm. You know what, YOLO, as if I just said YOLO, but still, I wanna try everything I can, show you the best content I can. So I'm gonna do one half tomato, one half lemon. Sorry, Sunflower, you are gone, but I'll do that one another day, and you can add me on Snapchat to see updates of when I do the face mask and how it is and all that jazz. Go add me, go add me, go add me, add me, add me. I think I'm gonna do this half of my face with the slice mask sheet in lemon. I wanna see how many of these I can cram onto my face because some say I've got a large head. Some say I don't, so let's put them to the test. <laughs> For the lemon mask, it says a facial mask that helps clarify the skin tone, resulting in more radiant skin. Ooh, radiance. It smells very faintly of lemon. There is a lot of liquid in there. I said 18 before, didn't I? Okay, there's 12 slices. I can't do maths. Okay, I've got one, I've got one. But yeah, it definitely smells of lemon, which makes me happy. It smells of like the KFC refreshing hand wipes you get. It smells of them. <laughs> I got to KFC way too often because I'm a little fatty. Oh, that's cold. Oh, oh. Okay, it's sliding down my face as I talk. Oh, it's really cold up there. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's in my hair. Oh, well. Off the bat, this is the funnest face mask I've ever applied to my face in the world. And the downside is it doesn't cover my entire face. So I don't know if it's all getting the same benefits. So I'm just gonna try and slather a little bit of serum all over the places that the lemons aren't there. Tomato next on the other half of my face. Okay, this one, a facial mask that helps increase brightness while providing hydration to the skin. This is what I want the most. I'll zoom in so I can see a little bit more, but these aren't just like red and yellow circles. These have got full on detail in them. Oh my God, that smells really nice. Coco Star, can you make this into a perfume? Cause that's lush. The slices of both the face masks differ in size, so they're not all big, they're not all small, it kind of changes, which is good so you can like put them in different areas of your face. I 
I look like a freaking Domino's half and half pizza. It's so hard to talk. So far, both face masks feel exactly the same. But yeah, let's check back in 30 minutes, which it says how long we should keep it on for. I'll check back up with you soon. Hi, yeah, so it's been half an hour my time. The tomato just fell off. <laughs> These are like bone dry. Everything is absorbed into my face. That's a good sign. There's not really much excess sebum there's a little bit what i saw in someone's instagram video where they tested one of these face masks is that they got the little kind of outside bits from where the slices were sitting and they rubbed this onto their face to get all the serum so i'm going to do the lemon on the lemon side and now i'm going to do the tomato side now i've got all the excess serum on my face i'm just going to try and massage it in to see if it absorbs anymore so I'm going to leave the serum sitting on my face for a few minutes, then kind of pat it off and we'll see how my skin is. Why do I look so dark? What is going on camera? Do I look bright now? Honestly, the camera was only off for about three or four minutes and it all sank in so quickly, which is so good. The results. Dun, dun, dun. My face feels so hydrated, which is just what I need right now. And it's, oh, I love it. It's divine. Just perfect. It does feel a lot smoother as well. It's like it's made the rough bits of my skin a lot softer. But with the whole radiance brightening thing, I can't tell the difference between the two sides, if I'm honest. They both feel exactly the same and look exactly the same, so I see suggest just get which one you think looks the coolest if you want like a girly pamper night or something i think these will be so so fun to do together and like take pictures and stuff like oh top girly night product this was so so fun to film so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed make sure to look at my first trying products video with the real technique sponges it will be somewhere once again the link will be in the description if not make sure to subscribe to moi subscribe to my vlog channel like and all that jazz and i will see you in my next video bye OMG, it's Maya, she has sorted out a certain attire With makeup moments, lifestyle too, you'll never get bored OMG, it's Maya